Hello everybody, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Adrian, I work at Open Zeppelin and today I'm going to show you how you can very quickly build your first contract with Open Zeppelin Wizards. Uh, very quickly, uh, a few points about Open Zeppelin, you may know us, but our, our thesis now is that there is a trillion dollar open economy being built on smart contracts and we are not the one that are going to build it. You guys, the builders, are going to do that through your dApps, through DeFi, through everything. But in order to do that, you will need a set of tools, products, and services that will allow you to do it in a safe and effective way. And that's where we're coming, uh, trying to be the, leader provi the leading providers uh, for, for solutions for, for DAP developers and people in, in this Web3 space. Uh, we do that through many offerings, Audit, obviously, uh, Defender, that I encourage you to try if you haven't tried it already for, for managing your contract. Uh, and, and also the, the Open Zeppelin contract library, obviously, and we, we support a lot of, of network. So last year, one thing we did on the contract team is create the, the contract wizard. And basically, so it should be animated, but it's a PDF, so sorry, you'll see it in action later. Uh, the contract wizard is basically a website that allows you to bootstrap basically a lot of contracts, ERC20, 721s, governors, we'll, we'll see that together. And the idea is to remove as much pain as possible in, at the early stage of building your contract by providing what is common to everybody, what is easy, so that you can then focus on either just deploying them and building your, your app on top of it or customizing it with, with some logic. So yeah, we don't have much time, so let's just go to a demo. So you know how the network is, so I'm just running a local instance here, but you can get that through, through wizard.opensepin.com. And for example, today, I propose that we both create a, a governor DAO that we could all be participant in, and our participation in this DAO will be represented by an NFT. So we'll start by building an NFT contract. So we're going to take an ERC721 contract we are going to make it mintable. And you see the code change. So if you are teaching Solidity, like using that is also a great tool for, for, for showcasing how like adding features modifies your contract. So I'm putting the vote module, obviously, because that will help us a lot. I'm using roles instead of own ability, but you see that the wizard updates everything very nicely. And, and that's it. That's a very simple, maybe make it burnable, but that's a very simple uh, NFT contract. So. Once you have that, you can just copy paste, uh, download it. But what we're going to do is open it in Remix. And it's also a local instance of Remix because network. Um, and if this one, and, and here you see that your, your code is here. Uh, it just got uh, put into, into this part here. So we have the file and we are ready to work on it. But we want to do a governor. So we just need more than, than, than just an NFT. So we're going to go back to here and now go to the governor and let's make a governor that is pretty simple with a quorum that's at least 10 NFT holders we need to participate. Obviously we are going to use the RC721 votes. Uh, we don't want a time lock but we want to make it upgradable to UPS. So yeah, so that's a governor that is upgradable and since it's upgradable maybe we don't want to have the setting updatable. You will update and to upgrade. You do what you want. That's, that's just our code. So it turns out to be a pretty small piece of code, but uh, if if I had put that, like you see that there is a lot of over, possibly some overrides that are sometimes painful. So the wizard is here to, to help you figure that out. And so now that I'm happy with my governor, I'm going to just open that in Remix. Uh, okay, leave this one. Remix is a bit strange, but now I should have uh, both files here, my token and my governor. So let's let's deploy. So I'm going to use a local compiler because otherwise it's not going to work without network. And I'm going to compile this file. This is possibly the longest part of deploying a contract is actually compiling it in Remix in this case. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long because I only have three minutes left. Okay, it's good. Oh, one thing we could do is like, this is ownable, but here we could just modify that and make it only governance so that uh, your your upgrade ability would be uh, managed not by the owner that we can remove uh, but by the um, by the governor's the governor itself so this is a good time for you to like modify your contract a bit Obviously, hopefully i haven't made any type when it will compile again always the longest part yes it's good uh, i also need to compile this which is my token so here 
And now that this is compiled, uh, yes, I can just go here, uh, take my token. So my token is here. It's an ERC721. I can just deploy it again to a local instance. We're not going to wait for, for Gurley. Uh, oh, I removed it. Yeah, this is okay. This is my token here. Uh, I've got a lot of features, so I can just take my address here uh, and paste it into safe mint to mint myself one, two, three tokens. Yeah, I've got three tokens. Uh, if you go and look at my balance, I've got three tokens. Uh, I need to delegate this to myself, so I'm just calling the delegate function. And right now, if I go to get votes here, you will see that my wallet has also three votes. So that's good. Know that we have this. We are going to deploy the second part, uh, which is our governor. Where is the governor? It's not here. Oh, do I need to? Yeah, OK. I, my governor is here. Uh, we remember that the governor was an upgradable contract. So basically, what is going to happen is that Remix is going to understand that and is going to deploy first the implementation and then the proxy. Uh, which it's great from Remix that they support that. So now you see that I have two contracts, the governor and this. And if I go there and I just, again, copy paste the address of my, my account and I see the get past vote, where is it? Um, oh, it's in the view function. Uh, I've got a get votes that allows me to check what were my votes at block number six. And at block number six, I had three votes. That was after I, I, I delegated. At block number three, I had zero votes. That was before my delegation. So we're not going to do a proposal or anything. We are out of time. But you could take this, put it into Defender to propose easily from OpenZP and Defender. You could also link that to Tally so that your user and your NFT holders can vote easily. And so basically, in seven minutes, we managed to, to deploy uh, an entire governance system based on NFT. And that wouldn't have been possible without the, the wizard. So yeah, that's what we are very proud of that we want you to use. And yeah, and I should have put the address. The address is wizard.openzeppelin.com. Thank you.